Hey, Daniel, Akita again. Uh, so I think another low hanging fruit for you is reloads. I'm sure you know that already. So, well, really it is for everyone. It's a never ending battle. The thing is with the reload, I'm sure you've heard look in the reload. So when you're looking in a reload, you look, oh, watch out, Pixie. I don't want to point this at you. Sorry, I'm just grabbing a hole. You look right here inside your magwell. So you can take white out and put a little line right there to help draw your eye to that spot when you do your reload. Another thing is the way you grab your magazine, you wanna make sure it's deep enough in your hand. So if it's all the way up here when you grab it, it's really hard to control and it's easy to fumble the reload. But if it's way down here, you have tons of control and it's very easy to seat that magazine with full control. Another thing about reloads where it gets complicated is when you're moving around. So moving to the right is pretty easy if you're a right-handed shooter, moving forward is pretty easy, but moving to the left is where it gets challenging. So if you're moving to the left, you have to keep the gun facing that way, moving that way, and you're trying to seat a magazine. So sometimes people will wait until they get all the way there after they turn around, they seat the magazine, and in some situations that's fine. But if you're trying to do it on the move, if instead you point your gun at your first target, then you know the gun is gonna be in a safe direction. And instead of looking at a, an imaginary line right here, you're looking here, only moving to the left. So you're gonna look at the front of the magazine well. So that looks more like this. So the gun is more upright, pointed at your target moving to the left, rather than flipping it like this, because then if you're turned this way, you're gonna break the 180. So keep the gun straight up and down, look at the front of it, and seat the magazine with the gun pointed at your next target. If you're moving that way, it's easy. You just stick it in. So that's my little spiel on reloads. Also, when you're practicing reloads, don't go through the belt in order, pick random pouches, because you know when you get to certain positions, you need to be thinking, okay, in this position, I'm doing a reload from the third pouch. So you need to be able to stand here thinking, third pouch reload, and your hand goes straight to the third pouch and you do a reload and randomize it. Go third pouch, first, first pouch, fifth pouch, fourth pouch, second pouch, third pouch, and so on, so it's randomized your hand has to learn how to find the pouch that it needs instead of just sweeping along the belt until it runs into a magazine. It'll save you a lot of time in the long run.